Kathy Grant. I'm the founder and executive director of Music Youth Partnership. We work in USD 259, which is Wichita, Kansas schools. This all started about 25 years ago. I had a horrible full-time job that I hated so much. <laughs> and a uh, long-time flute teacher. So my outlet 25 years ago when I had that horrible full-time job was I started going to the lower end. First time I ever did that, I was at Pleasant Valley Middle School and I had nine girls in the seventh and eighth grade flute group. It was my first experience ever doing a format like that. We started out with just basic things, you know, breath support and tone, correct fingerings. And then we progressed to uh, their book and then to their music in band. And then we moved to ensemble pieces where we did trios, Christmas trios, because they were getting ready for a Christmas concert. So I had three kids on a part. These kids, I think three of these kids lived with their grandparents, didn't even have parents in the home. Uh, so that's the economic level these kids were. So they stood right where they were in band and played their three uh, Christmas pieces and they got a standing ovation. And I was sitting in the audience and I was fighting back tears. I just thought for those kids to have worked that hard and gotten that kind of feedback, a standing ovation, I thought that is huge for them. They'll take that with it the rest of their lives. So I thought, even back then, sitting in the audience, I thought, gosh, if we could do this on a broader scale, we could absolutely change everything. My husband was a very busy general contractor, and I had two kids at home and that were involved in everything. My son was involved in everything. <clears throat> so I didn't really have the time to do with this what I wanted to do at the time. So 25 years went by, and I finally raised my kids, and I finally... Uh, felt like it was time for me to go back to school. I went back to Friends University and finished my degree four years ago and uh, with the view towards starting a nonprofit. As I graduated from Friends, I started talking to people about being on the board. And it really wasn't until I got COVID in May of 2021 that I got really serious about putting together the board and thinking about how many people I needed and talking to specific people. So um, we did that. And in June, we finally had our first of 2021. We had our first board meeting. We never looked back after that. We've been a nonprofit for two and a half years and the, the growth has been pretty amazing. So people ask me a lot, where do you think this all came from? And I have to look back at my childhood. I grew up in, on a farm in north central Kansas. We lived on the land that my great grandparents homesteaded. And uh, around the corner half mile, my other set of grandparents lived and homesteaded. So I had, you know, we had all that land. And so we, uh, we, we played around in the field where they had their dugouts in the back behind the barn. So, uh, you know, I, I grew up running around that land and we grew up very much, I think, like my great grandparents raised their kids. We didn't have running water or electricity or any of the finer things in life back at the beginning and uh, kerosene lamps and all that stuff. And um, it wasn't long before we got all that modernization, but I went to a one room country school. We didn't have running water there or plumbing. I think there's a lot of how my great-grandparents thought about things. How if a barn burnt down, all of the neighbors would get together and mom would bring a casserole or a cake and the kids would play and, mom and, and the dads would get together and build the barn. That's how America was built. And so for me to see the need all around us and the desperate, really, the desperate situation that kids are in, um, it wasn't hard for me to think that something could be done. It's very, very much a grassroots movement. We started out in Music Youth Partnership in one school. We were at Marshall Middle School. It was a great year. We had two mentors in that first school, Emily Cox with Woodwinds and Randy Crow with, with the Brass. Then by the second year, we were in four schools. We moved to Marshall Middle School and North High and 
Hamilton Middle School and West High. And by our third year, this year, we have added Truesdale Middle School and South High. Uh, and each school has two mentors. I always thought that we would start out with three mentors, a woodwind mentor, a woodwind teacher, a brass teacher, and a percussionist. We haven't gotten a percussionist yet um, in any of our schools, but that, that'll be coming. And also, I dreamed that we would be in orchestra, working with kids in orchestra and in choir. And really, truth be told, I always envisioned this to be everything that the fine arts touches. Art itself, painting and pottery and photography and the graphic arts, theater of all kinds, you know, even creative writing with a view towards growing. I believe that's headed, we're headed that way. I've had requests for to speak in Detroit and uh, Nashville, Knoxville, Tennessee, Oklahoma City, Kansas City, and the Seattle, Washington area. So we've got amazing people on our board and we've got absolutely the greatest uh, mentors. For the most part, we hire retired band directors and that has worked so well. 30 years, 35 years in, in schools, they know how to work with the kids. They know what the needs are and they know how to teach music, all of the instruments. So it's been, it's been very effective. <clears throat> we now, uh, we also give out musical instruments to kids that can't get them any other way. We have a partnership with Dam Music uh, at Central and Tyler in Wichita where they repair the instruments and they, it's even a drop-off zone. People can drop off instruments and we advertise it that way on our website and on social media. And so does, so does the damn music. They advertise that too. This is a drop-off zone for a music youth partnership. So they collect the instruments, repair them. We pick them up, pay for them, and, and we give, just give them out to kids. Uh, we've accumulated a lot of, we do have violins, but we've also accumulated a lot of guitars both uh, acoustic and electric and we have a we dream of having a a guitar class starting in one of the schools soon